Solar Activity Heats Up, presented by Science at NASA. If you've ever stood in front of a hot stove, watching a pot of water, and waiting impatiently for it to boil, you know what it feels like to be a solar physicist. Back in 2008, the solar cycle plunged into the deepest minimum in nearly a century. Sunspots all but vanished, solar flares subsided, and the sun was eerily quiet. We've been waiting ever since for solar activity to pick up, says Dick Fisher, head of the Heliophysics Division at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. We've been waiting three long years. Quiet spells on the sun are nothing new. They come along every 11 years or so. It's a natural part of the solar cycle. This particular solar minimum, however, was lasting longer than usual, prompting some researchers to wonder if it would ever end. Now the pot is starting to boil. Finally, says Fisher, we're beginning to see some action. As 2011 unfolds, sunspots have returned, and they are crackling with activity. In February and March, Earth-orbiting satellites detected a pair of X-flares, the brightest X-ray solar flares since 2006. Another eruption in March hurled a billion-ton cloud of plasma away from the sun at 5 million miles per hour. The rapidly expanding cloud, known as a coronal mass ejection, wasn't aimed directly at Earth but it did deliver a glancing blow to our planet's magnetic field. The off-center impact was enough to send northern lights spilling over the Canadian border into U.S. states such as Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Michigan. That was the fastest coronal mass ejection in almost six years, says Angelos Forlitas of the Naval Research Lab in Washington, D.C. It reminds me of a similar event back in November 1997 that kicked off solar cycle number 23. I'd say solar cycle number 24 is now underway. The slow buildup to this moment is more than just the watched pot failing to boil, says Ron Turner, a solar physicist at Analytic Services Incorporated. It really has been historically slow. There have been 24 solar cycles since astronomers started keeping track of them in the 18th century. An analysis just published by Turner in the journal Space Weather shows that in all that time, only four cycles have started more slowly than this one. Better late than never. For more information about solar activity and other hot topics, visit science.nasa.gov.